In deriving a canonical distribution, remember that we started out with the postulate of equal a priori probabilities for a, a system, and that was basically uh, regarding a quantum system. Now we want to uh, state the same principle for a classical system. So uh, the postulate was as follows. You have uh, if an isolated system is in equilibrium it is found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states and uh, this was our principle so basically uh, how we need to change this for a classical system instead of saying in each one of its accessible states we should say in each one of its accessible uh, cells in phase space so i'm going to replace this in each one of its accessible uh, states with the following statement in each one of its accessible cells in the position momentum phase space so this is our uh, principle of equal a priori probabilities and let's see how this applies for a single particle in a one-dimensional box which is uh, the classical example we've considered uh, previously so I have a single classical particle in a one-dimensional box the the box has a length L so its position X is going to be between 0 and L this is the position uh, it has a corresponding uh, momentum uh, momentum is uh, P the energy of the particle is 1 over 2 mv squared it's uh, purely kinetic energy or P squared divided by 2m so that its momentum is related to to its energy as plus or minus square root 2m times energy if this is an isolated system if it's an isolated uh, system then I must have uh, the total energy E for the particle is going to be in a range E to E plus delta E so that I'm going to find the momentum in the range uh, square root 2me plus or minus dp so this is going to be the magnitude so if I plot the uh, phase space, uh, momentum position phase space here, you can see here, I have uh, PQ phase space. In each uh, cell, so if I consider one cell here, I'm going to have an area uh, delta q times delta p is equal to h0 so at equilibrium using the postulate of equal a priori probabilities we're going to have at equilibrium 
uh, the particle is going to be equally likely to be found in any one of its accessible cells. So I look at uh, the accessible cells here. So I have chosen uh, this dp to be equal to uh, delta p here. So I have uh, square root 2me plus or minus uh, delta p. So I have chosen dp is equal to delta p. Um, the accessible cells here uh, are basically for x between 0 and L and momentum between square root 2me and plus or minus delta p. And also momentum can be minus square root 2me uh, plus or minus delta p. So these are the accessible cells. So if I ask you what is the probability probability of x being in between 0 and L over 3. Well, if you look at the total number of accessible cells for x is between 0 and L, uh, for example, here if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh, 19, uh, let me check again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 times 2, 38 cells. 38 times 2, because there is a plus or minus, a uh, total number of accessible cells. Uh, total number of accessible uh, cells is going to be uh, 38 times 2, uh, 60, 76. And for x between 0 and L over 3, I count uh, the number of accessible cells for this scenario. So instead of uh, 19, let's assume that I have 18 accessible cells to make things easier. So 18 times 2, 36 times 2, uh, 72. Uh, and the number of accessible cells uh, for x between 0 and L over 3 then would be uh, 18 divided by 3, 6, uh, multiplied by 2, 12, multiplied by 2, 24. So for this scenario, I have number of accessible cells uh, 24 then the probability of having x equals l over 3 is 24 divided by total number of accessible cells which is 1 over 3 so you have uh, each accessible cell equally likely in this scenario here. So uh, I have assumed that uh, he, although I have counted 19, let's uh, make it 18 just to uh, make the math easier here. So here I have uh, a total of 18 uh, cells and then uh, on this axis I have two cells. So total of 36 cells here and there is the same scenario for p is equal to minus square root 2 me so that would give me 72 total number of accessible cells and 24 corresponding to the scenario x not equal to l over 3 x between 0 and l over 3 so for this range of uh, position values i would find the probability to be 1 over so let's uh, recap what we said. So in the 
uh, previous discussion on quantum systems. If an isolated system is in equilibrium, it is found with equal probability in each one of its accessible states. Those accessible states for a classical description correspond to the accessible cells in the phase space. And we can demonstrate this for a single classical particle in a one-dimensional box of length L. And X has to be in between 0 and L. The total energy has to be E or E to E plus delta E because it's an isolated system. Uh, and delta E is chosen such that the number of um, accessible cells will not change appreciably. Uh, the corresponding momentum is square root 2 Me plus or minus dp or delta p. I have chosen dp to be equal to delta p. And at equilibrium, the particle is equally likely to be in each one of its accessible cells. So the probability of having x between 0 and L over 3 would be one third of the number of accessible uh, cells. So the probability would be one third.